Hi there, this is Delegate Price. It is Saturday, March 12th, and a little bit earlier today, the House adjourned sine die, and that is kind of the end of our regular session. So um, something that's a little peculiar for this year is that we did not finish the work on our budget. The House and the Senate are still negotiating. Um, it's no secret that I like the Senate version better, but <laughs> um, we are still negotiating that. There were also about, I think about 50 bills that were still in conference and um, those needed to be acted upon. Um, and so the, the deadline for those got extended a little bit. And if you'll remember when the House and Senate passed different versions of a bill, that's when it has to go into conference. And then the report that comes out from that or the compromise bill is called the conference report. So we're looking for a few more conference reports for those bills to be finally done and sent to the governor. But um, the governor has until April 11th to act on all of the bills that were completed during regular session. So you'll wanna stay tuned to see um, how those are going along. And um, yeah, stay tuned for when um, all 140 of us will have to come back to Richmond for uh, that that special session to uh, to finish the budget and um, and that legislation that was carried over. So um, it's been a long, a long, long session, <laughs> but um, it it was not as bad as I thought it would be, and I'll tell you why. I really am thankful, impressed, relieved at the uh, unity that Senate Democrats and House Democrats had in protecting the progress that we've made, um, particularly over the last two years, and specifically with the, um, the areas that I'm focused on, on voting rights, housing, and um, criminal justice reform, which under that I would put violence prevention as well. So um, the Voting Rights Act of Virginia is still intact. A lot of the measurements that um, measures that we put in place to allow for better access to the ballot still in place. So all of that that it it led to that historic turnout on both sides of the aisle in the 2021 election. A lot of that is still in place and and able to be used. So I'm really glad about that. And not only did we hold the line on the progress that we had made on housing, uh, one of my bills actually took us a little further and um, I can't wait to really dive into some of the legislation that was passed in the coming days. Um, but I'm still in Richmond. <laughs> so I do want to pack up and get home and see my family and friends. Um, but yeah, definitely stay tuned for when we're going to come back for a special session for the budget and those remaining conference reports. Um, updates on what legislation was passed and, and what really happened during session. And then looking forward, what is it that you can do in the interim between now and next session uh, or between now and reconvene session uh, to to continue to share your input and your voice and things that we can work on together in the district. So stay tuned. We will talk to you soon. Bye.